Hey guys, what's good? What's going on? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to episode five of our episode by episode reactions to Heartstopper. I am now filming these videos with a proper shotgun mic, so hopefully the audio is better. I still need to figure out some settings and stuff for it, but it should be better, thank God. I've got to, before we jump into today's episode, guys, I've got to give a huge thank you to our family over at Patreon. Our little community over there is growing day by day, and I'm so grateful to all of you that have subscribed to memberships over there to help support me and help support the channel. It's already making a massive difference. And as a part of our Patreon family, I am giving shout outs to our top tier members. And today I wanna to give a huge shout out to Kurt Anderson. Kurt, thank you so much for all of your support. You've been in the comments in every video you've been over at patreon getting involved in all the discussions and i thank you so much your support means the world to me i'll never really be able to put into words how much it means but thank you thank you thank you you are a legend and i appreciate you now heartstopper episode five now in the last episode as i said it wasn't an overly eventful episode obviously at the beginning of the episode we had the kind of confrontation between nick and charlie in regards to the fact that they had just kissed and or kissed the night before and they both kind of panicked about it but the lovely scene in the rain everything's good they're both happy they're meeting up at lunch it's all good hunky-dory life is great and that's all that really happens in that episode to be honest you know you have the moment towards the end of the episode where Isaac walks in but other than that it wasn't an overly eventful episode but I guess you need episodes like this to kind of bridge the gap of the story which is exactly what this episode does but towards the end of the episode you see Imogen asking Nick on a date and my kind of feelings around that scene is that the only reason why Nick says yes to it is because everyone is there and he kind of feels pressured into doing it and obviously we'll see how that plays out later on in the series but yeah I'm super excited to jump into episode five so let's jump on in and see what's happening again we know what's happening but we're gonna revisit it and right let's jump into episode five oh. i love monopoly i play it on my phone on the tube <laughs> oh isaac why'd you do that i would have had rage if someone did that in a game of my monopoly let's tell him when he gets back fine It'll make you stop talking about it. I just mm. can't. Can we please talk about something else? Oh, they're not being. Have you guys seen those like petitions that people have put out that are like, please let? Oh my god, I've forgotten his name. The actor that plays Hal. Please let him have his actual hair next season because this hair is not cute. And then someone else posted another thing that was like, I think they've made that happen because he's too attractive with his actual hair. <laughs> but come on, we can have power no, attractive. You're not. You're being annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> so weird. I was thinking of inviting Nick to my birthday thing on Saturday. I don't want to feel awkward or weird for any of you since you don't really know. I assumed he was coming anyway. Yeah, you did, Isaac. You know. Isaac knows what's going on. Friend. I didn't realize it was called Friend. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's like you coming. Poor dogger. I'm I sorry. love dogs so much. This is the worst week ever. Yeah. He's just such a nice guy now. He's not obviously going to cancel the date, is he? <sighs> So pure. So shall we meet at Nando's for dinner and then we could go to the <laughs> Someone else posted about that as well online. They were like, that is such a typical British date, like Nando's for dinner in the cinema. I mean, it sounds like a great night to me. So I love Nando's. I love the cinema. Imogen, I'll go with you. If you want to meet, let's go. I've actually not had Nando's in a really long time. I love that. Me and my friends are going bowling and Bowling. Why does he suddenly sound so posh there, Joe? Why do you sound so posh there? Bowling. How would I say it? Bowling. Yeah. Bowling. Bowling. Now I'm doubting myself. How do you guys pronounce it? Weird. Why am I gonna? I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> that moment reminds me of. I really wanted to post it on my Instagram, but I couldn't find it again. Has anyone seen those videos where it was like Nick and Charlie, but they keep getting rejected and they've like, <laughs> they've like edited these scenes together, but so that they reject each other. I was absolutely crying with laughter. It's so funny. Whoever made those videos, like well done. Cause that really had me laughing. Hyped for your date mm. on Saturday. Oh, boys, boys, watch this. Oh, here comes Harry being a dick. <laughs> watch out, dick nozzle. You're right, man. <laughs> Harry, just stop picking on people for no reason. Mm. Um, you gay for them. <laughs> Classic Harry. Life must be really hard when your only personality trait is Rick Bellens. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a good line. I, yeah, 
Tao has a couple of really good lines and that's one of them. But that's something that used to always get me at school as well. Like I remember someone saying it to me like in middle school when I was like nine or 10, oh, are you gay for them? And like obviously having the starts of the internal struggles that I was already having anyway, it put me into full panic mode. So yeah, that, that hit me hard. We have to show Harry that he can't just walk all over us. Mm. He can't possibly hurt your new best friend, Nick Nelson. Oh, Tao. Are these like real Instagram accounts? Does anyone know? Has anyone looked? Do you like this girl? Well, um... Her dog died. Ah, <laughs> uh, not for me. I love Olivia Coleman. Yeah, you, know, mm. you shouldn't go out with someone just because you feel sorry for them. Don't worry. The right girl will come along, just you wait. He's already found the right boy, Mum. I can't wait to see the scenes of those two in like the volume four, the, the volume three and four stuff. I think she's gonna be so good. That badge is so obnoxious. <laughs> this must be really daunting for Nick. Can you at least try to get to know him? Come on, Tao, you can do it for Charlie. I love bowling. I've not been in ages. I love that, like, at the beginning of a relationship, like, those little moments where you just catch each other's eye and it makes you both smile and kind of, like, fills you with that warm feeling. Like, oh, it's amazing. And don't get me wrong, I still get it in my relationship seven years down the line, but at the beginning, it's kind of, like, sparks, isn't it? Come on, Tao. You definitely cheated. <laughs> oh. I thought you liked my arms. Shut up. <laughs> ready for round two? The more I watch it, the more I'm excited for the next season. Because I'm like picturing them in, in all the scenes now. I'm going to put it out there. I think Tao is my least favourite of Charlie's friends. But I get why he's the way he is. Don't shout at me in the comments. Do you really think he's messing me around? I mean, his intentions are really are there, right? His heart's in the right place. They're definitely like a ride or die group, aren't they? Like they've so severely got each other's backs. And suddenly everything is perfect in the world again. Come here, let's, let's all have a hug. <laughs> Camera died, it's now attached to a power bank. I'm having the biggest technological nightmares lately. Let's finish this episode. <laughs> Now what you always tell me not to say? Hmm. I've actually done something bad. No, you haven't. Charlie being like so understanding. Oh, I should have met you when I was younger. Hmm. No being sad on my birthday. <laughs> His present is the cutest. So, I mean, I love them, but Nelly is the star of that photo. <laughs> Why are we like this? Because <laughs> you're adorable. That like next level of growth, like it's so beautiful to see their growth through their story arc. Another great song. I mean, there's a kiss and then there's a kiss, guys. Like you're really having a kiss in public. Proud of you. Oh no, see that was cute. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. You're probably already shouting at me in the comments, but I take it back. I'm glad they didn't, I know it doesn't happen until later on in the books anyway, but I'm glad they didn't like rush it all into one season, like everyone getting together. Nelly, you look stunning. Wait, is Nick wearing the same clothes? Is he doing a walk of shame? Okay. <laughs> no, stop laughing, this is a serious scene. You're a really nice person. That's not what she wanted to hear. I don't like you like that. I think this is Kit's best scene. I remember this really affecting me the first time I watched it. Your real personality has been like buried inside you for a really long time. That really cuts me deep. I think I get it. Oh, I just want to hug her. I know I, I spoke about him in my video that I made, my initial Heartstopper video, but like that moment really got me like where he talks about like not feeling like yourself and not feeling like you can be who you actually are. And I think a lot of us in the LGBT community really feel that because I think when you feel the way that we feel about ourselves when you're discovering yourself, you do feel like, how am I trying to articulate this? It does feel like you can't be yourself because you don't really know who you are even. And like, I remember for me, like this is where I kind of relate more to Nick. Like I felt that way back when I was friends with all the rugby lads. And I remember like the conversations and stuff that I would have to get involved with and just thinking like, I didn't want to be in those, I didn't want to be there. I wanted to be somewhere with someone else. And like, I've never told him this, but like a friend of a really close friend of mine now, Thomas, who I went to school with, we were, he was the year above me he was kind of more out there than I was in terms of like, we were both dancer kids, but he was quite out there. And I don't even, I don't know if he was out at that point, but he was kind of the gay kid in, in 
his year and I remember like walking through I must have been in year 9 or 10 and he was in year 10 or 11 and like walking past him in the courtyard and he was like dancing on a bench and was like going so full out and like I remember the boys that I was with like laughing at that and I remember looking at him and thinking like oh my god I so wish that I was comfortable enough in my own skin to be like you right now and it's so funny to think back at that because now all these years later we ended up doing our first cruise contract together he lives in London we're like the best of friends now and it's so funny to think like he had that kind of influence on me at the time and he probably doesn't even know it so Thomas if you're watching this I love you and thank you but yeah that's kind of that's what this scene kind of reminded me of and it really like made me think back to that and kind of like broke me a little bit anyway we decided we were better as friends I love how she like not covers for him there but like yeah I love the way that she says that god I'm really noticing the song choices this time around right so that's it guys that is episode five I just had to check because I keep <laughs> even towards the end there I was thinking oh there you go so that was episode six no no that was episode five struggling another amazing episode i love the progression that we take in this episode again we're seeing like step forwards in in nick and charlie's relationship i love that you know we see those cute little moments of them like having like their first kiss in public i know they've kissed in the rain but like their first kiss in public and we're seeing nick continue on his amazing journey of self-acceptance and some really beautiful moments and really profound moments in there that really really got to me the first time i watched this especially so and i am so noticing even more how amazing the soundtrack is like I'm kind of trying to pay more attention to the lyrics each time and these songs have been so perfectly chosen so Alice oh my god thank you you are amazing yeah another great episode but that is it for today's episode guys as always if you like this video please give it a like because it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying this kind of content and it really helps the channel out as I said at the beginning, if you want to join us over on Patreon and watch the full unedited version of this reaction, just head to the link below and come and join us over there. I'd love to have more of you over there. But yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in episode six. But until then, guys, I will catch you in a few.